What did we all deserve to get this little cute munch in the background? Show me your Grinch feet. Welcome officially to my Good To Be Home series. Oh my gosh, this has been a year in the making. But quickly before I get into my home series and <laughs> disaster, just have to give a quick little shameless self promo to Sticker Styled, which is my passion project and my first like product that I've ever come out with completely on my own for you guys. I really wanted to come out with exclusive hand-drawn sticker packs for you guys so you can use them on your Instagram photos, Instagram stories, your videos, like anything that you want a sticker style bitch, I got you ah! you guys I'm so blown away by the response I literally can't even get into it without getting emo for anyone who's interested check it out in the description box below at stickerstyle.com you can also follow the Instagram at stickerstyle can't wait to see you sticker style I literally need to lay off the copy anyway let's get on into this video so oh my gosh you guys this has been a long time coming we had some roadblocks some unforeseen issues our apartment started flooding. Ultimately ended in us deciding to move. So we lived in that first apartment from October to like May, way longer than I would have liked to because the nightmare neighbor. So to be honest, I just have delayed and delayed this series, like starting this series because I just did not know where to begin with this series because everything that Alex and I had filmed from October to May was in our old apartment. So like us shopping, me showing you where I was like putting things and like furnishing, putting things on the wall, like everything that I was talking about was that old apartment. And while we're still in the same apartment complex, it's definitely a different layout than our old one. I honestly just went to Instagram and just threw it in your hands. A lot of you suggested that I just start this series just sitting down and kind of walking you through some of the things, showing some old footage, however it flows naturally, and then going from there. So the first room that I really wanted to focus on besides the living room was my office, obviously. That's the room that, you know, I was going to be creating in. I would be editing in, filming in, writing blog posts, brainstorming, like everything creative for me, I like to do in my office because I don't want to like bring my work into my bedroom. My office was just very important for me to like start focusing on. I literally had nothing for my office except for my desk, which was actually a desk that I got when I've lived with Sarah. She's super basic, just all white, kind of goes with everything. I'm not in love with it, but like it, it'll do for now. My desktop computer and Sarah's old floor length mirror. So that's pretty much all I really had to work with in my office and my first office was actually really big and kind of a weird layout. Luckily in our new apartment, my office is so much brighter. It's a normal shape. It's just a square instead of having that weird ass like hallway thing. Aside from that, I was basically starting from scratch. I was just like, oh my gosh, where do I begin? But I knew that the one thing that I needed for this space was hands down a sofa, but not just any sofa, a sleeper sofa. Sleeper sofa. I got this idea from my girl, Sarah. When she moved into her house, she got a couple sleeper sofas and could not recommend them enough. So I was like, oh my gosh, that is such a good idea for my office. Cause not only did I want a sofa just to like hang out on and edit, I really wanted my office to double as a guest room when people come over because in my office, I actually have a attached bathroom in there. But at first it was really hard for me to find a sleeper sofa that that was also like really cute and comfy, but I ended up falling in love with Joybird's selection of sleeper sofas. They have so many and they're so customizable. They were so kind enough to gift me a sleeper sofa. So I have to just show them some love because I'm literally so obsessed with this sofa. You guys have no idea. <laughs> Ollie is obsessed with this couch. This is his favorite little place to hang out during the day. But this is my sleeper sofa. I am quite obsessed with her. This is so cozy and comfy and I love just like hanging out on here during the day. It's a great place for me to just like sit and edit because sometimes sitting at my desk all day just hurts the bootay. So it's useful for me as just like a regular office sofa. It's not like I just use it when people come over. This is the Briar sleeper sofa style. That is a mouthful to say. They have this in just like a regular version as well. So if you're not trying to get a sleeper sofa. They have this exact style, but it's just a little bit thinner because there's not that big like mattress in there. I think the fabric that I got was called like Tussa Snow, but I really love the color of this because it's so neutral, but it's not white. It's really good for pets. So if you have a pet or if you're just messy and like to spill a lot, 
it should be good to go. You know what I mean? Like I feel like it's really easy to clean. I haven't really had any issues with it. And I think I got the walnut color legs or maybe like espresso, something like that. I'll also put that on the screen because I feel like I'm misremembering that. Definitely a great place to furnish your office, your apartment, dorm room, like they got you covered. Ollie loves it. You and you, it's a little teddy bear. Anyone who sits on it is just like, oh my gosh, this is the comfiest couch I've ever sat on. And I'm like, I know. I've had like 10 friends and family like stay with us so far. Like they love and rave about that um, pullout mattress. I can also attest to that because Alex and I had to sleep on that sleeper sofa like many a time um, when we lived at our old place because our neighbor was so loud that we could not sleep in our room sometimes. Second day in a row where we like really got no sleep. Like if I had a sleep tracker, it would probably tell me I like two to four hours max of sleep. So exhausted, our neighbor was so loud. Alex is also super crabby today because he also got no sleep, so like, please pray for me. I'm all scared. This is my sleeper sofa that Alex and I have been sleeping on like three to four times a week because of not being able to sleep in our own bed. Your stuff is budget friendly, which is amazing. And I know like buying furniture online can be kind of a daunting task, but luckily, first of all, you can get a swatch kit. So if you want to see like all of their fabrics and stuff, they've like velvet they have a free one year at home trial so like if you want to like get a couch and see how it looks in your space which is so nice because like i get really stressed out about that too sometimes also hot tip i noticed that joybird has sales pretty often they had an end of summer sale and i believe right now Hopefully it's still going on. <laughs> they have a semi-annual sale. Um, I saw a lot of stuff was like 30% off. After I had the couch, I knew I could finally start looking for my office rug. Finding a rug is so difficult. It's like you either find one that you absolutely love and are obsessed with, and then you find it's like $20,000, or else you like settle on one. It is such a task. I highly also recommend just taking your sweet time finding a rug that you know you're gonna love because you don't wanna just like get one to get one. I didn't want anything like too crazy loud and bold like this red rug because I wanted her to be like the center of attention and then like have her sister over there that's just kind of like in her shadow, you know? But after months of searching, I finally found the perfect rug for that room. So here's the whole process of me finding that rug. Okay, so apparently I didn't film me shopping for this rug. I swear I did, but I think it might've just been my Instagram story. So I will insert that here if I have them, but I'm just gonna film this now because you know, if not now, then win. That was deep. Sorry, I have some things on the floor, but I love this rug so much. And mainly because I got this for such a good deal, like world market, I swear has deals all the time on their rugs. So keep an eye out if you are rug hunting and they don't have a sale, then just hold off and wait until they have a sale, like sign up for their email notifications. I think this rug was originally around like $400 and I got it for around 200. I'm not exactly sure on that, but for such a big rug, that is a really good deal. Deal, especially because I could just pick it up and store it and have to wait. The only downside to this rug is the first couple of months, it sheds like a mother. Um, you're gonna have to vacuum it all the time. But other than that, we love. I ended up finding this one on Instagram really randomly. I was just like searching a home hashtag, saw someone's room with this, saved it. I was like, I need this. That was from World Market and I went there the next day, picked it up. I'll link this exact style down below if they still have it, but I know they have a couple different sizes of this as well. I was in the elevator one day in my apartment and I saw that someone was moving and they posted a bunch of like photos of like different furniture pieces they were selling. One of the items was this wishbone chair that I loved and I was looking at those online for like hundreds of dollars but didn't want to buy that. They were selling it for like 50 or 80 bucks. They also posted the exact Ikea bookshelf that I was looking at for my office for like half the price of going to Ikea. Plus you don't have to make the trip to Ikea and you don't have to put it together. So like win, win, win. Definitely take advantage of your neighbors moving. Very happy about those deals. I wanna do an entire video actually styling a bookcase and like my tips on that. Another piece I ended up getting was actually a new edition that I got like last week, so very new. But I finally got the Alex drawers from Ikea. Now this is a very touchy subject because I have never liked the Alex drawers. Everyone and their mother on YouTube, like booty gurus have had them like to store their makeup. After living in this apartment for like a few months now, I realized that I have no storage in my bathroom. It just was not gonna work. So I put that together. That was a bitch. That was the worst thing to put together, but it's literally made a 
world of a difference. I'm doing a whole video on that storage as well, so updates to come. And the last big piece that I've gotten for my office is this clothing rack, and oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so happy about this clothing rack. Like, it is so good, and it's so affordable. Like, I looked at the one from Urban Outfitters and like other websites, and they were like hundreds, at least at 150 for a clothing rack, and then like shipping. I ended up finding the one that I have for like literally, I think it was like 40, 50 dollars. Such a good deal. You can get the bigger one too if you want like more shelves, and then you can like put them together if you want like two clothing racks and the shelves in between. Like, you can totally customize it depending on how much space you have. But I just have this little corner in my office. It's actually perfect just to put my clothing rack and then that floor length mirror from Ikea that I have from Sarah's like first apartment before I go to Hawaii. Like I can put all of my tropical things and like just plan my outfits or like if I get a new piece in, it's really nice to just put that there so that I know that I wanna wear it soon and shoot it for you guys. And then if I'm going to like Portland soon, um, I can put like my fall clothes out there, like lay out some outfits. And then it's super easy just having that mirror right there that I can just like try on the outfits right there. It's so good for small spaces. Like it doesn't take up much room at all. This is another piece that I wish I had in college because I had the smallest closet. But that is the main gist of my office um, that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So I'm gonna be doing an updated um, or an upcoming vision board video for my office. Gonna be doing a bathroom organization video because that, whew, that is necessary. And I'm gonna be showing you how I organize my closet because I've gotten so many questions about that. I'm gonna take you along with me on my living room process, my bedroom. A lot of episodes coming in this series, but I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. I know it's kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to start with my office and then we will go from there and um, hopefully things will be more updated. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next one. Mwah!